Rebuilding a model steam plant, part 32. Changing the steam valve on the main boiler outlet. Testing the check valve at 60 pounds per square inch and bending the copper pipe. Preparing to connect the check valve to the hand pump. Some viewers may be wondering why I want to change the steam valve on the boiler's outlet. There are about three reasons why I want to change this valve. One is I don't like the shape of it, it looks silly. You can get away with this type of valve I think on a 504 boiler, but on the smaller boilers in the 500 range they don't look very good. This is my opinion. And in the case of this particular boiler, the way the tap fits the boiler is not very good. It has a 3 16 by 40 threads per inch stainless steel insert. And by the time I've fitted the correct thickness of shim washer, I think that there is insufficient thread left to go into the bottom of the valve. And because of this thread problem, coupled with the fact I don't like the valve in the first place, that is why I'm using a pair of pliers to remove the thread insert. This took quite a while to do. I had to use the pair of pliers almost all of the time to extract the thread insert from the hole. And eventually I got the insert all of the way out. When the thread insert comes out of the boiler bush, you can clearly see that it is not very long. Then I had a brainwave that wasn't the best brainwave I've ever had. I thought if I use some Loctite 603 to fix the thread insert firmly into the valve, then possibly I could screw it back into the bush. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I thought I would give it a chance and see how it went on. I cleaned the boiler bush with a piece of Scotch Brite, so this is now looking quite clean. I got rid of most of the old thread sealant from the bush itself. Caution, this is Loctite 603, not suitable for fitting boiler fittings to boilers. Why then am I showing it and why am I using it? I'm going to use some Loctite 603 retainer on the insert. And so I could screw this insert firmly into the valve, not the boiler, the valve. I've temporarily fitted it with a 3 16 by 40 union nut. I've then applied some Loctite 603 to the thread and firmly screwed the thread in place to the valve, not the boiler bush. Here's a very rare occurrence. This is a clip showing Loctite 603 hardening in a steam valve. I left the valve in this position for about 15 minutes. Then I unbolted the union nut which came away very cleanly leaving the thread insert firmly in the valve and here I'm about to apply some Loctite 542 thread sealant before screwing the valve back into the boiler. A bit of useful information, Loctite 542 is red, this is thread sealant, Loctite 603 which is retainer is green. If you would like some more detailed information about Loctite products, then please visit the website. Do not contact me. Thank you. Once I'd refitted the valve to the bush on the boiler, I really wasn't happy with its strength or appearance. This is plan B. Drill out the bush in the boiler very carefully, tapping size for quarter by 40 threads per inch. Then blow away all the swarf. Do not do it with your finger as I've just shown. That was a stupid thing for me to do, and now I have bits of swarf stuck in my finger. These particles are very sharp. Once I drilled a nice clean 7 seconds of an inch diameter hole in the boiler bush, I threaded it using a quarter by 40 threads per inch tap. Why quarter by 40? Because as far as quarter of an inch diameter threads go, quarter by 40 is the one that I most use. Quarter by 40 threads per inch is more often used on miniature steam locomotives. On miniature steam boilers like this Stuart 501, it would normally be quarter by 32, but I do not have any quarter by 32 fittings. Here I'm fitting a quarter by 40 threads per inch double union into the boiler bush. As always, I'm using Loctite 542 to seal the threads, but I have put a washer between the union and the boiler bush just for effect. After wiping away the surplus Loctite 542 from the joint, it looked like this. Instead of an upright tap in the top of the boiler, which I always think looks bad, I'm going to do it this way. This is a globe valve, and once I fit a suitable piece of pipe to the other end which will go down to the steam turret, it should look very good. I pumped up the boiler to £60 per square inch, the safety valve blew off and everything was well. 
Here I'm testing the check valve by using a small allen key to depress the ball inside. Now I know everything's OK, it's time to pipe the check valve all the way through underneath the boiler to meet the existing piping from the hand pump. I'm making quite a tight bend using this very good microcosm bending tool. Once I'd bent the pipe and shortened it to somewhere near the correct length, I could feed it through underneath the boiler, making sure it didn't go over the top of the burner but around the side. In this clip I'm just about to cut it to the final length and silver solder union cones at each end, not forgetting to put some quarter by 40 threads per inch nuts on the pipe first. In the next episode I won't be showing the silver soldering operation, I've made plenty of videos about that already. But I will be showing the fitting of the pipe to the hand pump and the check valve on the boiler. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.